established in 1981, Ambrosali University, Ekoma, has come of age as one of the pioneering efforts in state university system in Nigeria. Since its establishment, Ambrosali University, Ekoma, has weathered the storm and has grown in leaps and bounds. Successive vice chancellors have done their best through various initiatives to place the university where it rightfully belongs with the university making tremendous impact in some key disciplines such as law, medicine, engineering, amongst others. However, the real game changer came with the appointment of Professor Ignatius Onimawo in 2016 as the Vice Chancellor. He had a vision to make the university the best state university in Nigeria and among the best 10 nationwide. On the left of me, our administration for three years of We are moving at the top year in order to realize our mission of building Amsterdam University, best city university, and one of the very best in Nigeria. <laughs> we recall that when we started the number of job was something that happened once in a while. And in fact, if your name was on the list, we believe we will engage pastors and imams to pray so that you will be allowed to deliver your mission. But I want to let you know that this is the name of God, apart from the month of December, if you normally want to deliver, no hope has passed without the knowledge of being delivered. To achieve this feat, the Vice Chancellor immediately set out to reform the entire system with the introduction of groundbreaking initiatives of reviving sound academic culture, of frequent faculty conferences and seminars, linkages with foreign universities, research encouragement, regular monthly inaugural lectures, as well as introduction of computer-based tests, CBT, for 100 and 200 level students. Since the inception of the tenure of our Vice Chancellor, Professor I. A. Onimawo, popularly referred to as the Digital Vice Chancellor, emphasis has been on digitalizing the entire university. Therefore, within the first two months of its tenure, the university may became paperless. Thereafter, the computer-based examination commenced, then electronic voting for the Students' Union government took place. And this has taken place twice. In a bid by the faculty to key into the vision of Vice Chancellor, the election into the executive body of the Nigeria Universities of Education Students Association, NOESA, was done through electronic voting on 18th March 2019. This was followed by electronic voting into the executive body of Business Education Students Association of Nigeria, BETSA, an innovation that has greatly reduced corruption in the system and enhanced internal revenue and school fees collection processes. Let AU look like other universities. And as God we have it, we, we were lucky that when I came on board, after several visits to Tech Fund, NUC, for the Ministry of Education, we are able to assess some funds. These funds that we assess have been live funded for three years. Reason being that the method of tech fund, if they give you money to do a project, if you have not filled that project, so they won't give you money to do another one. So we had an issue. Faculty of Social Sciences was abandoned by the contractor. The former council, the last council that was bought, decided that we should do something about it to see how we can look for resources to complete it so that we can have access to do some, some access funds. Luckily, we were able to do that. And when Ted Ford came, they saw that the place was not in use. They allowed us to have access to that. 
and we're able to assess three years of normal intervention and we're able to build a brand new faculty of life sciences. I'm sure you will see it. Whatever I say here is something you can verify. Even what statistics I gave to you earlier on, you can verify them. So that was completed in one year and one month. As soon as we completed that, we had access to another fund with which we have completed another faculty now, Faculty of Physical Sciences. They are side by side. When you get to social science, you, uh, life science, you see physical sciences by the side. That one is about 99% complete. The reason what it all remaining now is some of the furniture in the lab. Every other thing is in place. You also go there and you see them. As we have completed that, we were able to some contacts to have access to what they call special high impact intervention from net from tech fund. Last year, only six universities were selected to, to, to benefit from this. And you know there's something about friendship. If you are always with your friend, you visit him often, he visit you often, he won't know when he will tell you what he wants to do. So in part of those visits to Abuja, I got information that uh, they want to grant special high impact intervention to six universities in Nigeria by TED Fund. I quickly latched on it. I said, look, AAU was one of them. So anyhow, whatever condition you want, how you are going to select it, AAU you just have to be part of it. So they laughed and said, look, they will look at it and see what they can do. And, uh, Luckily, when the Board of Trustees met, AAU was selected <coughs> to enjoy 3 billion special high impact intervention to build two faculties. But when I got that, got the letter of award says at least two faculties. So I, I decided to take advantage of the award at least. Which means something else can come from this money. Even though my colleagues in the other university decided to restrict themselves to the two faculties, I decided to add a new department to mass communication. So, what we have said of two faculties, we have two faculties and a new department. Those two faculties, construction is ongoing education, then faculty of management sciences. They will not have the Department of Mass Communication. I'm sure that one will interest you people because mass communication is uh, your area now. Mm. So we are, you know, this, this event has no Department of Mass Communication, but we are bringing it on board now. And by November this year, we are going to uh, admit students into mass com in this university. So we are sure you, when you go there, pay special attention to the structure so that it, is, it will be free what you go over life because there is it's ongoing now. Mass com, education, and also management sciences. They are all going. That is on the part of TED Fund. I'm sure you may have heard that we have more than 33 projects completed. I have just mentioned about seven or so. So, what, where are the other projects? We have what we call the mid presentation needs assessment. Some time ago, the government of uh, Nigeria set up a team to go around the universities to see their needs. And they agreed that they need to implement some projects in Nigeria universities for the federal Ministry of education. So we had access to that money. Uh, I think it was 640 million. It was 740 million. That was the first uh, tranche that came. And with that, because we had the way they gave us areas where we can apply the money. We rehabilitated some courses, we built some workshops, it have, we built a dance studio. I'm sure I don't think I uh, have seen any such dance studio before. Anyway, even the university about where our schools, we don't have that kind of studio. We built so many other uh, 
these staff offices, because many of our staff don't have the offices. They are scattered all over the place. We have twin lecture theaters. We have 1,000 capacity lecture theaters. They are all over the place. One thing you will use to identify them, anything you see blue roof, any blue roof you see on this campus is from our administration. I decided to choose that so that when I'm describing it, nobody will there be no argument. The ones I have to complete, I did not put blue roof there. But the one that started from scratch to the completion is blue roof. So anywhere in campus, either here, in the town, in Emado, or anywhere in the town, you see any blue roof belonging to AU. It's from our administration. But you count, you count over 33 of them or some projects. So, infrastructurally, we have changed the face of AAU and we are still working. We are also very lucky that NDDC came aside helping us to tie some of the roads. We are still seeing, we are still, still so far they are still working. We start some, they are still working through this period. Um, Shell came and donated ICT Center to us. Tony Lubilu came and donated an examination center. This was an old rules because they have, they, 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 those that donated them decided to build them by themselves. So those ones are, are still there. All this came during this period of that review. Ambrose Ali University has been in dire need of a quiet reform for many years now. So the university was just running like a, a university, graduating students and so on. But when Professor Ignatius Onimawo came on board, he came with a vision. And in that vision, that we, it was broken down into 13 areas of specific mission. And he brought out that vision and made it clear. As it is now, there is a quiet revolution going on. And the revolution is an unseen attitude change in the staff and in the students. He said he, this university must become a first class university. The meaning of that was carefully explained. Uh, by all standards, we should compare with universities all over the world. The first thing he did was to increase the bandwidth for internet reception in the university. He called in MTN, he called in uh, GLOW, and they brought fiber optics technology and increased the bandwidth of receptivity of internet. Then he re-energized the ICT division and gave them a challenge to come with apps and with technology that will position the university to be able to do first class things to the internet. Now, he was able to discover that with technology, a lot of the things that you are battling with are easily solved. So in the area of governance, he made it clear, it will be e-governance. And when for the first time, one year after, Senate was running electronically, it was like magic. But today, it's not only Senate that is run electronically such that we have e-Senate, we now have e-administration. People rely more on the internet mm -hmm. for even communications and meetings, inter and intra department, inter and intra faculty, inter and intra directorates, even communication with the registry essentially on the internet. Because one, the platform is there, and two, the man driving the vision 
has ensured that everybody becomes a compliant. The research is not only academic and in journals alone. Extension services, how does it relate to the Nigerian system? How are we adding value? And the results are coming out. In the Faculty of Agri, of course, I mean, <laughs> agriculture is a mainstay in this, in this university. Our poultry, hybrid strains have come out that mature quickly and are big for the provision of milk. Thing with pigs, same thing with pigs, even cow fattening, same thing with cassava. Rice now, a breed is being researched on that will mature earlier with less starch. So these things are coming up because the man challenged the faculties. In various areas, in engineering, you know, breakthroughs are coming up. In architecture, even all the, 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 the what, what you see within the campus, they are challenged and they are the ones who do the drawings. In building, they provide the blocks and so on. That is in research. Now, in welfare, this man, because of his antecedents, was able to know who to meet outside this university for collaborative funding. He was able to assess state fund, assess needs assessment of the presidency, and assess you know, third party investors, and even the alumni to bring in things. It is phenomenal. I'm sure you, who, you know, you are listening to me, you know how this university was four years ago. If you compare it now, people, you cannot, somebody who has not been here four years ago cannot imagine that this is now our university. There are three cities just started and growing within the university. It's what was Sambisa Forest that is now the New Jerusalem. It's a city of about five kilometers with structures springing up on the right and the left. The road is tarred. It's a different ball game from what you used to see. The structures are big and mammoth befitting out of the university. That's between the library and environmental studies. You have